including your learner's name in your storyline projects is a really unique and personalized touch that can help keep your learners engaged and also make them feel kind of special. It's also a thing you should know how to do in storyline because you can use this trick for all sorts of things throughout your e-learning. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this name box already set up. I can type in my name, submit, and on the very next screen, I see my name and I see it used elsewhere in the project as well. You can even pop it into little text boxes for your avatars. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this happen. Let's go. Okay, I'm in my demo project here where I'm going to show you how to set up the box to collect the name and then I'll show you how to display the name on succeeding slides. So it's actually pretty easy. We're going to pop over to insert and we are going to put an input in, <laughs> click on input and click on this first one under data entry to show the little text box there. All right, so your cursor will change to a little plus sign and you can drag out the box wherever you want it to go. So I'm gonna put it right there. I've already got my submit button here, which is actually just set up to go to the next screen. Um, so you can see here the default is not necessarily what you want, but you can actually edit this text and then format it. So I'm gonna type in enter your first name. These are my instructions to my learner. And then go up here and I can change the size of that. So. I got my text, bo text box here. When you enter your text box, automatically a trigger comes along with it. It sets text entry equal to the typed value when text entry loses focus. And text entry is the, also the name of the box here. I'm gonna change that. I wanna make sure my variables are super clear in this project. So I'm going to create a new um, uh, variable. I've actually got it already set up here. It's called username. So I actually wanna use a variable username. That's a text variable. So let me exit out of that. And I want to actually set username, oopsies, username equal to the typed value when text entry loses focus. So let's test this out and make sure it works. Here's a really easy way to text out your variables and make sure they're working. Put in a text box onto your side. This is just temporary, we'll take it out later. And I'm typing in a name for what I'm going to see to the right. I'm gonna go to insert reference username. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this whole thing just to make sure it's very uh, viewable on my screen there. And now I'm gonna preview just this slide. So I'm gonna make sure that this text box is working like it should. So right now there's nothing under username. I enter Lindsay, click outside the box, it changes to Lindsay. If I wanna change this to Rocco, click outside the box, it changes to Rocco. Then if I hit submit, that just takes me to the next um, screen. So this button, all this button actually does is jump to the next slide. This works all on its own when text entry loses focus. That means when your user clicks anywhere else outside of that text box, that will set the variable to whatever they type in. So I'll go ahead and tape that out. Um, one fun thing you can actually do with the username, if for some reason there's any kind of a glitch in your project and they don't, they're not able to get their name in there, you can set a default value. I like to set it something like friend so that there's always something on screen, even if there's some sort of glitch where we weren't able to collect their name. So it'll just show friend instead of their name. All right, so next up, here's how I'm going to display this elsewhere. So same process as I used to test this out. Wherever you want it to go, put your cursor there, head over to insert, reference, and username. It'll put in the name of the variable bracketed by these percent signs. So these are standard in Storyline. It uses little percent signs as a programming thing to indicate to the, the software that it needs to bring up this variable. You don't have to go to insert to reference. You can type this out yourself if you know the name of the variable. It's just a nice way to make sure you are um, putting it in correctly. And same thing for down here. I got some placeholders here where I actually want to put in my variable. Again, reference, username. That should be good to go. So let's go ahead and try this out. So let's preview this entire scene. Oh, okay, so it actually put in my, um, my default there. I actually don't really like that very much, but let's submit that. Lindsay, welcome Lindsay, shows up there. Uh, Lindsay shows up here. So actually I'm gonna change my username. I'm not gonna have that as the default because I want my 
uh, instructions to appear instead. But what I can do is um, if uh, I can set up another variable on this slide. So if I'm, uh, I'm going to adjust the variable username to value friend when timeline starts on this slide, if uh, friend or I'm sorry, if username is um, blank. OK, so because I'm it, it's, it's not really possible to require someone to enter something here. They might just enter like, you know, a, a letter or two or something and they might skip it all together. It's really difficult to make sure they enter, you know, anything. They can just click right past the screen if they want to. So it's nice if you have something else set up in your project where you can set the username to some sort of value when timeline starts if username equals blank. Oops, you can see actually I already had that set up in this project. So you can see I set that up again. So I'll show you what that looks like if someone just clicks past that box. So if I'll, then my, now my instructions are here, so that's good. I'm just gonna click past it, go on, and it defaults to friend here. So if someone decides not to put in their name, that's okay. It'll make it into friend instead, and they can always go back and um, enter their name if they want to. All right, it's just that easy. Throughout the rest of your project now, you can insert username wherever you want that to show up, and your user is going to have a wonderful personalized experience. If you like this idea and these instructions, please let me know in the comments how are you going to make this happen, and I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun making this work in your own projects.